Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video 5 of the Waterline Sizing series. I originally made a four part series on waterline sizing about a year ago, but since then I've realized I need to make some clarifications. There are two main things I want to clarify in this video. The first one is the fixture unit load for urinals with a flush tank. The second item is also to do with fixture units, but regarding fixtures with direct flush valves that are on multiple stories. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. In the previous waterline sizing videos, we went through how to use table 2632A in your plumbing code. So I'm not going to go through that again. We're just going to be referencing it. If we look down in table 2632A, we're going to notice that a urinal with a flush tank is rated at three fixture units. But what does that mean when we have multiple urinals with one flush tank? To best understand this, we need to know how a urinal flush tank actually works. What we have is a toilet tank, or something similar to a toilet tank, mounted up on the wall somewhere. Piping comes down from it, and it goes to three or four urinals, like these ones here. The urinal flush tank will slowly fill up with water through its fill valve mechanism until it gets all the way to the top. At that point, it will automatically flush the water through this pipe and down to all the connected urinals. And after it completes that flush, it will start slowly filling up again, and it holds about 3 to 5 gallons of water. So when we consider our fixture units, it's 3 fixture units for that urinal flush tank. It doesn't matter if it's flushing 3, 4, or 5 urinals, it's 3 fixture units total. And now clarification number 2. We have direct flush valves on multiple stories. How do we calculate the fixture unit load for these different pipes? So in this example, I have 12 flush valve water closets, six on different stories. Now let's reference table 2632C to assign a fixed unit value for each of these water closets. And we're gonna do both stories simultaneously because we've already done this before in a previous video. So starting on the left-hand side, we have 40 fixed units, 30, 20, 15, 10, and 10. So that means the fixed unit load on both stories on this pipe here and on this pipe here will be 125 fixed units each. And now we get to our problem area which is right here. This water pipe serves both stories and 12 flush valve water closets. So instead of just adding up the two numbers that we got before, we're going to reapply table 2632C. When we re-examine that table we find out that after the fourth flush tank water closet, all the rest of the water closets need to be 10 fixed units each. Now let's overlay the new fixture unit values over the water closets and add them all up. And we're going to get 185 fixture units. Now recall, we had 125 from each story. If you just went and added those up, you're going to get 250 fixture units, which is too much. The piping is going to be larger than it needs to be. And that could affect the overall cost of the job in a negative way. So to reiterate, the amount of fixture units we're going to use to size this pipe right here is going to be 185. And now for my last example, I have this variation where the common pipe feeding the top story branches off either way to feed five flush valve water closets on either side. And now I'm going to overlay the fixture unit values that we saw before, and it should look like this. And so if I add up those fixture units, I'm going to have 115 fixture units right here and 115 fixture units right here. But of course, now I want to look at this pipe. Now, because this pipe is common to all 10 flush valve water closets, we now need to add up our fixture units like this, which equals 165 fixture units. And you'll notice we've got urinals on the next story with direct flush valves, so we're going to reference table 2632B and fill in the fixture unit values so we can calculate the hydraulic load on this pipe right here. If we add up all those fixture unit values for the urinals, we're going to get 83. But for this pipe, we also need to add on that 165 fixture units from the water closets. Together, that equals 248 fixture units to size this pipe. And that brings us to the end of this video, and I hope this really helped out with those clarifications. And until the next time we meet on a video, you have yourself a wonderful day.